Hello, sports fans and football fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and we are going into week 17 of the NFL schedule. Thank God. Thank God this is almost over. I was 9-7 and seven last week, a very, not very good 9-7, and seven because, again, several teams that had no business losing the games that they played lost the games that they played. The Bears, who are a terrible team, beat the Cardinals with Kyler Murray as their quarterback. Um, the and I'm, maybe you can write that one off. Maybe you can say that one. You know, the Bears should have or could have won it. But there were several several other games, <clears throat> especially in the last four games of the weekend. The three on Monday night, uh, the Chiefs losing to the Raiders, ridiculous. The um, Ah uh, man, what else happened that in that uh, that grouping? Um, there was a there was a, a few others. Now the the Forty ers lost to the Ravens, and that was supposed to be a good game. Either one of them could have won, but the Forty ers just laid down and died, and they lost thirty three twelve. Ridiculous again! Ridiculous. Are the Forty ers good? We don't know because they just got rolled by the Ravens. So. Uh, just ridiculous stuff happened, so I was only nine and seven. Um, and at this point, I am, like I say, I'm really glad that this season is is drawing to an end. So we're going to go into week seventeen. We're going to make some picks. I really should just, well, I don't, I don't want to say that I should try to pick the team that I think will lose because if I'd done that last week, I would have been seven and nine. But that proves, I mean, that just shows you I would have been seven and nine, almost five hundred, if I picked the team I thought would lose. All right, so uh, we've got on Thursday, December twenty eighth, we have the Jets playing Cleveland at the Browns, and we're going to go up here and get my uh, get my handy dandy um, pen, and we're going to say that the Browns are going to win this game. Now, will the Browns win this game? Who knows? The Jets are terrible, but do I know that the Browns are going to win at home in, a, in the, with a chance to go to the playoffs? No, I don't. But I'm going to pick the Browns because they're at home. Now you got the Lions at the Cowboys. The Cowboys are home in this, and they play really well at home. They're terrible on the road. They are a terrible team on the road, but they play well at home. And the Lions have proven that, hey, we're really no better than your run-of-the-mill decent team. So I'm going to go with the Cowboys here. We're going to take the Cowboys. So, uh, and now this is, of course, starting the Sunday games. So you got the Titans at the Texans. The Texans are home in this, but they don't have C.J. Stroud. Uh, the Titans, who knows? They're a Jekyll and Hyde team. They play good sometimes. They don't play well other times. I really have no idea who would win this game. Um, but I'm going to go with the Texans at home. Just because they're at home, I have really, these teams are, you know, one's just as likely to lose or win as the other one. Now we've got the Falcons visiting the Bears. Now the Bears lately have shown that they want to play good football. Um, I don't know why they decided to wait until like week 13-ish to do that, but they did. And so now they want to play good football. And the Falcons have shown that even with, you know, I mean, they've gone to Taylor Heineke as their quarterback, but even with him, they are not a really exciting team. They don't score a lot of points. The Bears' defense is looking a lot better than it was, and the Bears are at home. I am going to take the Bears, which means they're going to lose. But um, anyway, that's how that goes. Now you got the Dolphins at the Ravens. Of course, the Ravens rolled the 49ers, but should we read anything into that? No, we really shouldn't, because it doesn't mean anything. It means absolutely nothing. It means nada, because the Ravens are just as likely to crap the bed against the Dolphins this week after the big win against the 49ers. And in fact, I am going to, and, and the Dolphins don't play that great on the road, just like Dallas, but I'm still going to pick the Dolphins because 
That's exactly what would happen. That's exactly the scenario that would play out. The Ravens coming off a big win over the 49ers, thinking that they're the uh, they're the class of the uh, NFL, and then they lose at home to the Dolphins. Now you've got the Saints against the Buccaneers. Now the Buccaneers are trying to go to the playoffs, and they just might do it. They might actually win the NFC South. Now, the winner of the NFC South is going to be a sucky team, and uh, the Buccaneers would certainly fit that description. But they're at home against the Saints. I'm taking the Buccaneers. Now, you got the Patriots at the Bills. The Patriots, again, they're another team. They're a terrible team, but they've won. I think they've won like the last two weeks. And uh, yeah, and they, they won a game last week that there was no way. They had any business winning the team that they they played the Broncos. The Broncos are trying to go to the playoffs and have been playing well lately. There's no way the Broncos should have lost to the Patriots, to a punchless Patriots team. And that also applies to the Bills. The Bills are trying to make the playoffs. They don't want to lose. They can't. I mean, they really have to run the table almost. I'm going to pick the Bills just because they have to have this game and they have to do whatever it takes to beat a punchless Patriots team. Now you've got the Cardinals at the Eagles. We're just going to go with the Eagles here. I mean, the Eagles beat the Giants. That was the only game of those last four, those last four games. That was the only game. Three of them were locks. Three of them should have been locks. And one of them was the Eagles beating the Giants. And they're the only team that came through for me. And that was a struggle. I mean, I think they won the game like 30-25 to 25 or something like that. Ridiculous. Again, ludicrous. You know, that, that, that performer, ludicrous, that's what it was. It was ludicrous. So now you got the Panthers at the Jags. The Jags, again, another team that needs this win. They're at home. Everything is should be rolling in their direction. They've lost the last couple of weeks. And so that's a that's a, a disparaging sign, but they are playing the Panthers, who only have two wins in the entire year. So I'm going to take the Jaguars again. They really they should not lose this game. They have to say we need this game. This game we have to win. But uh, I don't know. The Panthers could just as likely go in there and beat them. Now you got the Raiders at the Colts. Now the Raiders, I like the Raiders. I mean, their new coach, um, uh, what is it? Um, I forget his name. Anthony, is it Anthony something? But um, anyway, Antonio, Antonio Pierce. That's what his name is. I like their coach. They really need to stick with that guy. Um, but they last week they beat the Chiefs when Aiden O'Connell only passed for 62 yards. What kind of crap is that? Can you just tell me what kind of crap that is? Because I don't know. So, um, you know, if Aiden O'Connell has another um, another game like that against the Colts, they're not going to win, I would think not. And the Colts, again, another team. They need to win if they have to have any hope of making the playoffs. All of these teams, you would think they would say, listen, we need to make the playoffs. We need to win to make the playoffs. We're playing a crappy team. We need to beat that crappy team. But they don't have a game plan to do that, I I suppose. I am going to take the Colts to beat. Now, if it sounds like I'm salty, I am. Because there's just no way. I, I mean, I have been fleeced so many weeks by teams that should have won the games that they played that I picked to win. That it's just getting ridiculous. So now you got the Rams and the Giants. We're going to pick the Rams here. The Giants are a punchless team. They, 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 maybe they, they're switching back to Tyrod Taylor at quarterback now. Who knows what they're doing. The 49ers at the Commanders. Are the 49ers good enough to beat the Commanders? I don't know because they look like crap against the Ravens. But we're going to go out on a limb and we're going to take the 49ers because they are a much better team than the Commanders. They should win. Of course, that applies to a lot of these teams that I just picked. They really should win, but they're not going to. Some of them aren't. Obviously, some of them won't. Now you got the Steelers at the Seahawks. I wish I knew what to say about this game. Um, the Steelers, they still don't have a good offense. 
Mason Rudolph looked like Terry Bradshaw. That he was another one. That was another game. The Steelers winning their game against whoever it was that they played. I forget. But there's no way that the Steelers should have won last week. But they did. Uh, the Seahawks, uh, maybe they're clinging to some kind of playoff hopes. Um, they're playing at home. They got the 12th guy. God, I really would hate to pick against the Steelers, though, because they figure out a way to win against teams that they shouldn't beat. Uh, um, I'm still going to go with the Seahawks. We're going to go with the Seahawks in this one. Next one you got is the Bengals at the Chiefs. Uh, the, you know, the Chiefs are another team. They look horrible. They just look really bad. In fact, I told a friend of mine, it's it's a well-known fact, if you're a football fan, it's a well-known fact that the year that the Chiefs drafted Mahomes, the Bears could have drafted him. And I told a friend of mine, I said, you know what, I watch Mahomes play now. I'm not that upset that they didn't draft Mahomes. And now, they drafted Trubisky instead, and that was a bad idea. That was a terrible idea, to take Trubisky instead of Mahomes. Um, but... In and of itself, not taking Mahomes, I don't think was a bad idea because you're seeing that if Mahomes is on a mediocre team, and that's what the Chiefs look like they are, then he's pretty mediocre too. He's no better than any other quarterback. He's no better than Dak. He's no better than Hurts. He's no better than Josh Allen. He's no better than Burrow. He's no better than even Joe Flacco. I mean, he's just no better than any of those guys. Uh, we're going to take the Bengals, uh, I, you know, against my better judgment, we're going to take the Bengals just because the Chiefs always look terrible in games that they have to win. Now you got the Chargers, the Broncos, the Broncos are at home. This is a mile high. There'll probably be a mile high uh, amount of snow. Um, I'm going to take the Broncos in this game at home. And now you have the Monday night game, the Packers visiting the Vikings, Again, this is a who knows. The Packers are a Jekyll and Hyde team. The Vikings have um, that guy running their team. I forget his name. God, I am bad with names. But that's just as good that I am, just as well that I am. But anyway, um, the Vikings are at home here, but I'm going to go with the Packers. I think the Packers are going to make a stand here and, and win. So those are my picks. God knows if they're right because, you know, in, in cases where I pick the clearly better team, you know, I could be like the Eagles over the Cardinals. Who knows? The Bills over the Patriots. Who knows? The Jaguars over the Panthers. Who knows? Um, you know, but we'll see. So anyway, there's a reminder of all of the, the teams that I picked, and we will see how well I do. Of course, last week being uh, nine and seven, that was another sub 600 week, so it drops me even a little further, a few more percentage points below 60% for the year. So I have to have a good comeback here in the last two weeks to get um, to charge for 60. And that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.